Hello friends, welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Shiva Tankamani, Mule Soft Technical Architect. In this video, I am going to present uh, the techniques of integrating ActiveMQ with Mule 4. For today's presentation, uh, we will take a simple use case. We will uh, send the simple JSON message from HTTP listener and trigger it into the Mule flow. And uh, we will design flow such that uh, it publishes the messages into the queue and then consumes the messages from the queue to process the incoming messages asynchronously. Let's see how to set up ActiveMQ server. Go to ActiveMQ site and then download ActiveMQ uh, 5 version and uh, extract the downloaded zip file into the folder. So I have extracted here in this folder and uh, in the bin file you see the necessary uh, executables. So let's go to the command prompt and uh, type the command uh, activemq start after getting into this bin folder in the command prompt. So um, immediately activemq server gets started and then it starts listening uh, for the incoming messages into the local host. You can see um, you can see the URL here that indicates uh, in which port uh, it starts listening. So it's uh, the URL can be seen here and it's listening on the port uh, 61616. So once this is ready, uh, we should be able to uh, start the web server. Um, web server uh, page is here. Let's copy that. And let's go here. And you can replace 0000 IP into localhost. And you can see the ActiveMQ server page. And click on this and click on queues. And I have already created an employee queue. And you can create a queue of your own. And create, uh, the queue will be created. So once it's created, uh, um, we will be able to store and retrieve the messages into this queue. So in ActiveMQ, we call it as destination. And uh, let's see how to uh, set this up uh, in our MuleSoft 4. So uh, I have created a, a simple flow with a HTTP listener and uh, to log the incoming payload. And I have also uh, created a, a configuration for JMS and uh, the connection is ActiveMQ. In order to get this, uh, uh, you, you have to go here and then type uh, JMS. And when you, uh, when you drag and drop one of these JMS messages, uh, it will ask for a new connector configuration. There you can click it. And uh, that's how I create it. And uh, let's explore what content is. So uh, in the ActiveMQ client, uh, you can click on configure. So it will download the necessary dependencies automatically. And uh, you need to give the uh, login credential here. I have given the default uh, username and password, which is always the case for ActiveMQ. And uh, in the command prompt, you have seen the port in which uh, it's listening on. You can copy that and then you can put it here. Here, you can give it localhost or uh, here I have given the desktop name. And uh, so that's it. Uh, you don't need to do anything else uh, other than this. And let's click on OK. And it's ready to uh, manage this uh, mess incoming messages. And let's go back. So uh, this uh, simple mule flow receives the messages from HTTP listener and then logs it. So let's publish this incoming messages into the queue. Let's give the destination name exactly as given in the queue name there. So we will give employee queue, save it. And that's it. It's uh, ready to accept the messages. Let's start the server. It's already started. Let's go to SOAP UI. And uh, I have taken a simple uh, JSON message and the resource path is published, let's call it. So you can see here 
uh, the logger displays message received and uh, we need to see the message got published successfully or not let's go back to the activemq console and uh, click here and you can see the latest message uh, this one and click here and you will be able to see the json message so now uh, you can see the other details and the headers and other properties uh, in the same console so once it's uh, published, uh, we will also be ready to consume the messages to process uh, uh, asynchronously. So now let's use uh, uh, consume. So I have created a flow to consume and uh, we need to configure the same queue where it got published. So double click on that and let's go to uh, connector configuration and use the uh, same uh, configuration that we did earlier and the destination name should be the same queue name which is employee queue. save it and uh, once uh, consumed you're going to process it but for the demo purpose let's just uh, log uh, to see it's uh, logging successfully so we are logging the incoming message although everything is set properly and uh, there is one thing missing so we don't have a an event that triggers uh, the message consumption so we can uh, follow a simple technique of uh, uh, scheduling this periodically maybe with a short interval so we can drag and drop scheduler and we can give uh, say uh, five seconds now save it let's wait for the server to restart now Let's give the message so you can see the message coming in so this is helpful uh, to process the incoming messages asynchronously and uh, you can also introduce uh, uh, some uh, db log operation so that incoming message is uh, persisted into the queue properly so that if uh, during the process if there are any communication issues occur you can later refer to the messages with some correlation id and then uh, process them manually thanks for watching this video and hope you have found it very useful so please feel free to uh, suggest your interested topic and comments below in the comment section and soon i will come up with the new videos thank you bye